Hey, what's up everybody? This is a video of my dive the other day. I went out uh, late in the day and the winds picked up, the clouds came in, and I just was looking to pick up dinner. So my first drop, uh, there was a little pananu there, too small. So I was just chilling out, relaxing. Some Moana Kali came in. It was really too small. Just wanted to get it on film. And I was hoping to pick up some kole. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to eat for dinner, but uh, just seeing what happened. So, as I said in my other video, I've been finding more luck uh, with my three prong uh, diving into these yellow tang schools. So I found, the, found one here and I dove down on it and I couldn't get very close to anything. I was searching the boulders looking for some kole. There's a small one there. Looking in the holes, crawling over the rocks. Couldn't really see anything. Well, one popped up right there. I tried to see if I could find it and he just booked out. No luck. So I just swam on. This is my next drop. Pretty much diving on the same ye yellow tang school. I kind of got ahead of it. And they swam toward me. There's a pualo there, a nai nai, king kole in the front. I did a lot of uh, work around the house, so uh, I was kind of tired. So I was thinking, okay, well, give up on the kole. I just try to pick up a king kole or nainui. I was hoping to get that nainui that came in. Waited a little bit more. I was running out of breath. So this guy got close, so lined up, took a shot. Got a good shot right in the head. Getting better. And I had my fish. So I really like my Evolve 3 Pong. I highly recommend that brand. Uh, it's, it's been really good. I haven't decided whether I like the 6 or 7 foot length the best. Um, just go back and forth between the two. So I'm dispatched the fish here. Put on my kui. Take it home and start cooking. So I decided to try something new. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to steam up some bok choy that we grew at our uh, Ocean View Garden, which we, I just harvested earlier in the morning. So like I said, I was doing yard work and work around the, the house earlier and then went out diving. So I'm going to steam that guy up and fillet the fish. Fish is filleted. Uh, you've seen that before, so I don't want to film it again. Now I'm going to cut up some green onions straight from our garden as well. You can see two uh, big onions that we harvested uh, earlier in the morning. And on the cutting board is my magic bullet. So our, uh, our uh, eggplant plant is kind of on its last legs. So these are the last couple that we're getting. They're a lot smaller and they have a lot of seeds. So I'm going to cut them up and I'm, when I clean them, I'm going to rinse them under the water, try to get as much of the seeds out as possible. What I thought of doing, I was thinking about this recipe. I've never done it before uh, earlier in the week. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel the skin off the eggplant and I'm going to start using my magic bullet. So I was thinking of making King Kole dumplings with king kole, eggplant, and green onions. I'm using my fillet knife, take the skin off. I was thinking of grinding it up, uh, and for the only, the only reason to get a purple color in there, but I decided not to figure it out, I'll make it green, just from the green onion. I didn't know how the purple and green would come out. So because we're in a tiny house, don't have a lot of room for a blender, uh, 
So we had a magic uh, bullet back in Honolulu and we brought it up here. And this is what we use in lieu of our blender. It saves on space. So I put the uh, eggplant in and I'm just going to start grinding it up. You gotta shake it, get it to the blade. It's not as easy as using a, a, a blender where I can open up the top, but uh, it works. So I'll just shake it up there. That's good. Now I'm gonna put in the uh, King Cole fillets and the scrapings from the bone. And take the green onions and throw them in as well. Yep, I dropped them on the floor. I dropped more on the floor. I wasn't really sure how this was going to come out. I had an idea uh, just going over it in my head as I was kind of uh, designing this recipe earlier in the week. Uh, I was hoping for, uh, you know, again, almost like a shumai texture and uh, get a little uh, color from uh, the green of the green onions. I'm also frying up some uh, chicken thighs there you took out. Now I did, did not expect that the eggplant would have as many seeds as it did but it is what it is and I'm just hoping for the best. Hoping that it won't be too hard to eat and just grind it up. So again it's a little bit harder to use since you can't open up the top and put a spatula in to put stuff down so I just lift it up and shake it. And do this until it kind of gets to a paste. Uh, the problem with the magic bullet is it kind of just all sticks to the side. You know, well, just like a blender. But since you open it from the bottom, it's kind of a pain to work with. But again, it's small. We can just throw it under the cabinet. You know, we, we don't really have the room for a lot, a lot of um, kitchen appliances. So now it's time to make the dumplings. I'm going to use our trusty mochiko flour. And <laughs> when, when you live in a tiny house and you only have a certain amount of things you can store, uh, I may have used something else, but we'll use up normally. But we have a mochiko flour open and we're going to use it until we're pretty much done with it. Add some trusty garlic salt and I'm going to add some water and whip it up and I'm going to make this one uh, thicker than uh, normal. It's on the thick side because I want something to hold the uh, dumplings together. So as I take it out you can see how it kind of sticks to the, the edges. This is kind of inconvenient but trying to save as much as you can. And I'm going to scoop out the uh, king kole, eggplant, and green onion mixture. And it's the consistency of uh, like a hash. So you can see the little ball there. The color came out like how I thought. The nice green from the green onion. I'm squeezing it together and I'm going to pinch out and make the dumplings. So I'm going to make them about the size that it would make a shumai. Roll it up. And I'm going to make as many as I can. You can see the seeds in there. So I'm pretty much done here. Made six of them. And they do kind of fall apart. So I was a little worried about them uh, falling apart once I put them inside the uh, mochiko mi mixture. Uh, but um, didn't have much of a choice at this point. 
So the mixture uh, got a little bit too thick, so I added some water there. It, uh, it hardens re really quick. So I got it to the consistency I want. It's kind of, sorry, it's a little off camera. I'm gonna put them all in, and as I coat them, I'm dumping it in the hot oil to fry them up. So I got them all in, and there they are. Uh, they look pretty good. I'm using my long chopsticks to turn them. Machiko stuck to the bottom of the pan a little bit, but they're not breaking apart, which was awesome. It's exactly uh, what I wanted. I was really worried that they'd fall apart. So I'm turning them, I keep turning them until I'm satisfied with the color. I'm really not sure uh, how quick they cook, but you know, based on um, trying up the uh, eggplants in the past and the king cole, uh, I felt it wouldn't take that much longer and I'd go by the color of the outside more than anything. So I wanted it a nice golden brown. I don't know if you can see it on camera. I, I think it looks pretty cool, the little golden brown. You can see the tinge of green uh, in the uh, white spaces. So I'm going to put it on the uh, paper towel to let it drip off some oil. And one important thing that I noticed is um, when you leave it on the paper towel, uh, you have to keep turning it and also uh, try to move it to a place where it's not already uh, saturated with oil. And that'll help uh, dry it out a lot um, better, so it doesn't get one side doesn't get soggy. Just the side that's on the paper towel. I was really happy with how, how these are coming out. I was kind of uh, wondering how they would taste, but it is what it is. Notice I didn't use um, any seasoning in the uh, uh, King Cole eggplant mixture. The only seasoning is, is from the uh, uh, garlic salt in the uh, mochiko batter. Uh, got that one little piece out. I guess I'm not catching any flies with my chopstick. And the reason why I, I wasn't really concerned about the seasoning is because the seasoning is going to come from the sauce. So I'm going to make my black bean um, butter sauce. So there you can see what I'm doing is, like I said, is keep turning them, putting them to dry parts of the napkin so that it doesn't get soggy. So I have my chicken done, have the dumplings done. The pak choy is done. I'm going to pull this guy out. It was done a little while ago. I turned off the fire um, a long time ago and just let it slow steam. Because the uh, bok choy has really thick stems, I wanted to make sure I, I cook it uh, really well so it's nice and soft and tender. I didn't want this one crunchy. So I'm going to make the bed and on that bed we're going to place the, the dumplings. But before we do that, time to make the sauce so we heat up our small pan or a small pot really need to get new pots because uh, these guys which we bought from Walmart on uh, they stain really easily so uh, I have to you you know it, it's a pain to, to clean it so all I'm gonna do is uh, melt some butter over a medium heat and add some um, black bean sauce. It's a little too hot, so turn it down. And it's just going to melt some butter there. Want to be sure to take it, take my time melting the butter. I don't want it to burn. I don't want it to change color. Even though uh, 
the color will be muted by the black bean sauce which we have there you can't tell but it does have that it, the taste does change once the butter burns so you're just going to pour a little bit in and i'm going to reduce it down it doesn't take very long to reduce because of the um, sugar content inside the um, black bean sauce so I lift it off the fire and just turn it with a handle and it's pretty much ready so now I'm gonna it's time for plating so we're gonna put the dumplings on the bed of bok choy I really like the color profile that one's breaking a little bit And I'm going to add the sauce. So I'm just going to drizzle the sauce over the dumplings and the bok choy, and it looks great. Anytime we do this, especially with uh, anything fried, uh, it has to go uh, right to the table. Otherwise, it'll get soggy. So there it is. We have our fried chicken, our dumplings pieces of fried chicken that's no batter the king kole uh, and eggplant dumplings and our bowl of white rice with furikake it was super delicious it came out better than i even could have hoped please hope you liked it please like and subscribe thanks for watching and aloha.